Portsmouth is the country's oldest naval yard, ma'am. And given the European situation, I am more than proud to serve as its commandant. Do you think we'll be drawn into the war, Admiral? Well, I certainly hope not, but if we are, we're well prepared. Well, what about those German U-boats? Ladies Home Companion is quite concerned. <laughs> well, they can't compare with the subs that we're building in this yard. Then why is it still called the Coffin Service? Well, we're trying to change that. How? With our, our new addition, the Squalus. She goes on her 19th test dive this morning. Squalus? What kind of name is that? It's a, it's a species of shark, a small one, with a very big bite. <laughs> Could you excuse me, just a moment? Margaret's in, ladies home companion. Oh, ma'am, Harold Preble. What can you tell me about this sub? Oh, well, she's the most advanced sub I've, uh, I've ever seen. She can stay down uh, for uh, 72 hours. And on top of that, we got toilets. I see. And what are you testing today, Mr. Preble? Well, we're going to take it down a periscope depth. That's uh, 50 feet in 60 seconds. What's the matter? I don't like the word toilet. This is a family magazine. <laughs> You're in charge. Me? Oh, hell no, no, no. I'm just the Go test supervisor. Well, uh, oh, there's your skipper. You be home for dinner? I better be. I got to pick up a birthday gift for someone. Daddy. Of course I'll get you a starfish, baby. Have a starfish too, Daddy. I'll get you a starfish too. See you. I love you. Just give me a kiss, just one for luck. Got lucky last night, baby. Besides, I want you home tonight. And hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry right now. Bye, baby. Excuse me, young man. Uh, sir. Sorry, sir. You and my daughter aren't married yet, are you? Uh, no, sir. Not for three more days, sir. Well, maybe you ought to let her take a breath. Oh, Daddy, haven't you got something else to do? If you want Sherm to go to officer's candidate school, you should treat him better. Uh, I think she's had her breath. As you were, sir. Thank you, sir. Gotta go. See you tonight. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. We're about ready to sail. Thank you, Mr. Doyle. Prepare for departure. Yes, sir. Huh? Last one, the wiring failed. Come on, sweet. Time before that, the motor screwed up. The time before that, the induction valve failed to open. We've lost 22 subs. There is no such thing as a routine test. Stop yapping and get in the water. Here comes the reporter. Reporter? What for? The Navy wants publicity, sweet. Yeah, as long as it's good. 
Behave yourself. Ah, Mr. Sith. I think you'll be very interested in the experiments that we're doing here. Commander Momsen has done a great deal to improve safety beneath the waves. He created the Momsen Lung, which allows trapped sailors to rise to the surface of the ocean from a hundred feet below. Turn up the pressure, Jim. Yes, sir. Well, what are you doing now? Well, as a diver, sinks deeper and deeper. The nitrogen in his air supply causes him to... to uh, think like a drunk. <laughs> Even black out. Oh, my! Should his nose be doing that? I think, uh, that's all for us today. <laughs> Less than two miles to the dive point, Captain. Time? 0813. Notify Portsmouth of the dive location. Take her down. Yes, sir. Don't worry, sir. About what? We'll get her down in 60 seconds. That's a problem. Seven here. Degrees, 36 minutes west. Longitude position, 70 degrees, 31 minutes west. I repeat, sir, 70 degrees, 31 minutes west. Deloitte. Yeah. You learn your lines yet? What line? Wedding lines. The best man don't have no lines. He just hands you the ring, don't he? Ah. You got it in a safe place? Yeah, I sure do. I think. Thanks. You got it. Get moving. You take forward hold. I went 10 seconds with this coffee. Swing this torpedo out, Mr. Nichols. I want to reload position before we dive. Yes, sir. You. All right, swing out and reload. Morning, Gator. Everything turned out all right? Not bad, not bad, sir. McLeese? Sir? Where's Batty? He's enjoying his coffee, sir. Let's switch places. All right. Let's get that cover up. I want your eye on those batteries. Right away, sir. Good. Mr. Robertson, Mr. Smith, let's get a move on it. Yes, sir. This happened. You okay? Mm -hmm. Radar position, CUNY. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Let me see the surfacing report. Steady as she goes. Go. Quarter mile to dive for you. Whoa, man, forward is rig. Two forward compartments are ripped for diving, Mr. Doyle. Thank you, Captain. Sure. Yes, sir. It's okay, see you on the scene when we're done. I'll do that, sir. Coming through, guys. Come on, guys. Coming through. A cup of coffee for Mr. Whoa. Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ricky, what? I hear you got a hot date. Hot, sure. This girl's more than hot, man. She's steaming. Yeah? yeah. What's her name? What? Sophie, Carly, Jane, okay, Nancy. Okay, okay, you got me. I don't know. <laughs> now get out of here. I haven't even met her yet. <laughs> Coming through, ladies. Coming through. Free and clear. Right. Ready to operate. Lloyd. What's your hey, hey, Yeah, good. <clears throat> hey, Casey. What's good? The uh, captain wants to talk to you after the drill. <laughs> You been flirting with his wife again? <laughs> Stand, by Stand by to dive. Stand by to dive. Conning tower hatch closed. Damn. Top side hatch is secure, sir. Close exhaust vents. Closing exhaust vents one and two. Exhaust vent secure. Close main induction valves. Closing main induction valve, sir. Main induction valve secure. Switch to battery power. Switching to battery power, sir. Blood valve buoyancy. Bloody valve buoyancy. Blood ballast tanks one and two. Flooding ballast tanks one and two. 
Blood ballast tanks three and four. Blooding ballast tanks three and four. Shut down the engines. Engines shut down, sir. Tanks flooding, sir. Engines down. Green board. Pressure in the boat? We are secure, Captain. Take her down, Mr. Doyle. Steer course zero nine or zero. zero All zero. ahead, two thirds. Ahead, two thirds. Two degree down bubble. Two degree down bubble, sir. Take her down to five zero feet. Down five zero feet, sir. One zero feet. Two zero feet. Three zero feet. Four zero feet. Come on, you're gonna make it. Five zero feet. Mark. Sixty point seven two seconds. Not bad. Way to Not go. Bad at all. Good work. Level off at six zero feet. Level off six zero feet. Yes, sir. What was that? Some kind of wind? There is no wind on a submarine. Captain, take her up. The engine rooms are flooding. That's impossible.
We're gonna be crushed. I think I would have preferred that, Mr. Preble. Compartments back there. You tried them all? Yes, sir. You need a head count, Mr. Doyle? Yes, sir. Bring the Fort Battery, Cuny. Yes, sir. <sighs> How do you think it happened? The high induction must have been open. The fort is green. I'd like some quiet, please. Sir. Yeah, who's this? Cuny, sir. What's your condition up there, Chief? Ford battery cells started shorting out, sir, but I was uh, able to disconnect them. I'm sure that wasn't easy. No, sir, it was not. Hold tight, I'll get back to you. Yes, sir. Bring the four torpedo. Yes, sir. Pierce, I want you to release the stress rocket. Yes, sir. Sir, Lieutenant Nichols says one man was struck by a loose torpedo. Other than that, they're fine. Now tell him I'll send help forward as soon as I can. In the meantime, have him release the marker boy. Yes, sir. Be here soon, won't they, sir? Not too soon, Cookie. Nobody knows we're here yet. Can't raise her, sir. She was supposed to be back by lunch. A training flight flew over the dive coordinates, but saw no sign of her. You think she's down, Joe? I'm afraid so, sir. Sir? Get me sweet, Momsen. Sir, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I think you have better alternatives. What might those be? Momsen's never saved anyone, sir. Not in a situation like this. And he's not exactly known for following Navy protocol. What the hell does Navy protocol have to do with the lives of these men? I'd call Frances Naquin. She's hosting a wedding shower for my daughter. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes? 
If she's down, Swede, which, uh, which we don't know yet, but if she's down, you got to refloat her. With all the men on board? That goes without saying. Well, now, Cyrus, you don't even know what condition she's in. Assuming she's in one piece. And you don't even know how long this could take. Now, how much oxygen have these men got? 48 hours worth? Do you think we can lift us up from the bottom of the ocean in 48 hours? We can try. Well, we've never done it before. Jim, where's the diving bell? That, that, that thing is still experimental. It's on the Falcon, sir. The Falcon? The Falcon's barely seaworthy. That's totally out of the question. Totally out of the question. Yes. That's your final word? Yes, it is. Well, thank you, sir. Swede. Swede, you turn that back on. Momsen? Open the door. Sir, he's still in recompression. Momsen! Momsen! Come on, Swede! You change your mind, Cyrus? Hell, oh, hell no. Okay. Good, and get me that sister sub while we're at it. Um, what's her name? The sculpin, sir. Why the hell do you need the sculpin? Because she'll get us there faster than anything else. Open the door, whiskey. You're not sir? listening to anything I say. I certainly am, Admiral, but now you gotta listen to me. Sir, you got 20 minutes of recompression. Yeah, 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 yeah. So get me the falcon, get me the diving bell, and get me the sculpin, and get me the hell out of here. Open the damn door, ski. Mr. Sharp. Yes, sir. You want to see me, Commander? Why the scaffolding, Mr. Sharp? Oh, we're having our annual overhaul, sir. Where's your crew? On leave. How soon can you go to back? I don't know. They've been George. Forward. The squalus is down. You need the diving bell fast. I can't get in the water for two days. I'll give you two hours. Here's the diving coordinates, yes, sir. I'm going to use this as a base point to. Uh, Try to find it. You mean she's not even here? Well, not as far as any planes can tell. No rocket sighted, no market buoys. Maybe she's not down, sir. Well, she's not up, that's for sure. Well, maybe she's... Don't say it, Mr. Sharp. Don't even think it. Yourself. He sent me forward so he could finish his coffee. I said stow it, McLeese. You know what you like best about this sub? We got a toilet, and he could drink in the galley without jamming his elbow into somebody's teeth. We all know our situation. We've released the marker buoy and we'll continue to send up smoke rockets. All hands are to be commended on their conduct. Now, let's keep conversation to a minimum. We've got to conserve our oxygen. Sir, can we use the Momsen lungs to get to the surface? Not at this step, no. Sir, let's gain a forward battery. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, salt water's reacting with the battery cells, producing chlorine gas. We've got 
no more than 24 hours before this ship is a tomb. All right, listen up. I want you to make sure all your vents are closed, Chief. Then I want you to take your men, any blankets you can find, strip the pantry of all king goods, and I want you to move the forward torpedo. Yes, sir. <coughs> you guys? Move that chlorine gas in the forward battery. Preen? Yes, sir. Preen. I want you to open the door to forward battery. I want you to grab mattresses, water. I want you in and out of there as fast as possible. There's yeah. chlorine gas in there. Preble, you and Cook, you're moving forward. You're the only we're civilian on this boat, which means you're the first one off. We'll see about that, sir. No, we will not. Now, I want all you men to double up so we can keep warm. Let's, let's get going. Sir, as the civilian supervisor, I feel I should take some responsibility. What part of conversation to a minimum did you not understand, Mr. Preble? Sir. Coordinates indicate the squalor sank around here, sir. When's the Falcon get here, sir? Well, not for a while. We're gonna find ourselves a sub first. You're late. What took you so long? Ladies, I'm afraid I have some bad news. There's a problem with the Squalus. They think she's down. Admiral Cole has the situation well in hand, and Swede Momsen is on his way to the site even as we speak. Now, you know how our husbands would behave in this situation. I expect us women to react with the same composure. Oh, come on, Francis. I intend to call the wives and girlfriends of every man on that boat and invite them here. I don't want to be alone at a time like this, and I expect most of you don't either. Francis, this is an officer's club. Marjorie, there are no officers or enlisted men on that vessel. They're just the men we love. In the right place, sir. We are if his coordinates are correct. Not a sign, sir. She couldn't just disappear. No, no, she's down there somewhere, gentlemen. Let's just hope we find her before the weather finds us. Holding it for him, sir. I saw him right before I closed the door. Listen to me. I owe you my life. So does every man on this boat. You gave everyone who could make it a chance to get out of there. you got left? Just the one, sir. Feeling lucky? Won a hundred dollars in poker last night, sir. I'm feeling very lucky. I'm fired.
That's hell, sir. Excuse the language. Hearing that thunder? No, Jim, that's not hell, not the thunder. It's the silence around it that's what's hell. I'm waiting for an answer that's just not coming. Helping. Just a minute. There it is. Heading south, southwest, Chief. Full speed ahead. Propellers, sir. <laughs> Hi, I'm Francis Naquin, Naval Gaina. Come on in, Mabel. Everyone, this is Mabel. Please introduce yourselves. Can I get you something to drink? Coffee, thanks. Hello. Thank you. They found her. Oh, <laughs> hey, up now. Back off the engine. Stop. 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 Quick as you can. Squalus. Hello, Squalus. This is Swede Momsen on the Sculpin. Do you read me? What is your condition? Ollie Naquin here, Swede. It's good to hear your voice. It's good to hear you, Ollie. How are you? How are the men? We're fine. We just uh, don't even know what happened. But we think the high induction is open and all rooms after the control room are flooded. Ski, do me a favor. Loosen that line. Loosen that line, Ski. Give me some slack on that cable. Give me some slack! Tweed? Give me some slack! Tweed, you there? Release the buoy! Release the buoy now! No! What's we? Tweed, come back. Get him out. Ah. Ah. We lost him. Why isn't she here? 
She had to gather her crew, sir, and take down the scaffolding. That was a question to Godski, not to you. As lieutenant commander in this Navy, I get to question him once in a while. Sorry, sir. They can't get a fix on her, sir. She's down there somewhere, we just don't know where. How's he casting up, son? Sir? Tell the captain I need a grappling line. We're going fishing. <coughs> hey, give me the book. Risen pretty high. Let's put her on some CO2 to absorb it. Not too much, though. I want to keep the men drowsy. Yes, sir. You okay, Kenny? Yes, sir. Close up, isn't it? Yes, sir. Mine too. In command. So I'm as nervous as you. <laughs> I doubt that, sir. What's your biggest dream? Yes, sir. I wanted to play with Big Spider back in New York. You ever heard of him? Yes, sir. About 15 years ago, I auditioned for Paul Whiteman and his orchestra. I was 18. Bix was there and said I was real smooth. Could have had the job, too. But I thought the Navy was safer. Give me that. Cooney, come here. Can you go up in the conning tower and hand out a signal? Yes, sir. Three times. I want you to send each one three times. Yes, sir. How's this gonna work, sir? How's it gonna work? You ever drop a fountain pen from a third story window, blindfold yourself, and then try to retrieve it with a bent pin? No, sir. No. Well, that's how it's gonna work. Watch out, Ski. Sir! Sir! Someone's hammering out a message in the Squalus Conning Tower. God is answering, gentlemen. Who would have guessed his voice would come from down below?
Satisfactory but cold. We're all in one piece, sir. Thank you, Jeff. Let's go. If we snag the sub, the diver's got to follow the uh, grapnel line to the bottom and connect the downhole cable from the diving belt to the spots. I'll make the dive, sir, once we snag her. Oh, it's too risky. I'll take the risk. You know me better than that, Ski. Why, sir? Why what? Why does it have to be you? You ever hear of the S-51? Uh, of course not, you're too young. In 1925, a passenger ship ripped her apart off Block Island, sank her in 131 feet of water. One of the officers was a good friend of mine. I was in charge of recon. When we found the oil slick, we tried to contact her, but all we heard was silence. At least it was fast, we thought. We were wrong. When they eventually raised her, I saw how my friend had died. The flesh was shredded off his fingers from trying to pry open a hatch. His face looked like a Halloween mask. He died 131 feet away from me, that's all. And there was nothing I could do. So that's why, Ski. We got some. still here? We're in and out. We'd like the company. Any news? Yes, ma'am. Ladies, I won't beat around the bush. I've got some good news and some bad. Bad first. The uh, rescue ship Falcon has been delayed for all sorts of reasons. When will it get there? Not till morning. But the good news is, we've made contact, and as far as we know, every man is alive. Oh. <laughs> Funny. Good news makes you just as restless as bad. You're not out yet, Francis. Oh, don't worry. The groom will be at the altar on time. <laughs> You're so brave. Me? You haven't cried once. I'm a Navy wife, Betty. You'll learn. Are you married, Mr. Preble, sir? Yeah. I guess she's worried. I got a girl I was supposed to meet. I guess she'll think I just stood her up. Well, you have. <coughs> Cutie. Cutie. What's taking her so long? 
Falcon's supposed to be stripped and shot. Are you asking me or God, sir? Well, Ski, God doesn't seem to be answering me at the moment, so any opinion you have is more than welcome. My opinion is she's here, sir. What do you mean I'm not going down? What do you think I mean, San Zabitsky? It's too risky. You've got the best team in the world. I don't want to lose them. That goes for me and you. Who's in charge here, Cyrus? You're too old. Who is in charge? You got the rank, but who's in charge? You're too old for that dive. Even I know that. Why do you have to showboat all the time? Sweet. Give someone else a chance. Ski, you hear me okay? Yes, sir. I want you to talk to me all the way down, you understand? I want to see what you see, I want to feel what you feel, okay? Yes, sir. Good luck. Lower away. Lowering away, sir. Keep the line going. Make it nice and easy, John. Got over 230 feet of grapnel line. Take him down nice and easy. How goes it, Ski? Fine. I had the grapnel line, sir. Talk to me. How's your head? It's clear, sir. What's your job? Attach. The downhaul cable to the escape hatch on the forward torpedo room, sir. Then what? Sir? What do you do next? Come up. That's right, come up. Ski? The grab the line is angling straight down, sir. I must be getting close. I see you, sir. How's your head? Ski? I'm on her deck. What do you see? I see her windlass, sir. I'm on her bow. You see the escape hatch? What's your job? Attach the demo cable to the escape hatch, sir. They come up. Good, do it. What's going on, Ski? Little, little, little tired, sir. You're almost done. Come on. What's your job? What are you supposed to do down there? Big the hook, sir. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not fishing. You're at the bottom of the ocean. Focus, Ski. Attach the guideline to the ring. Can't do it, sir. 
Yes, you can. Now, come on. I can't do it, Ski, it's all up to you. If you don't do this, these men will die. Do you understand me? answering my calls. I've been calling you all morning. Well, Why don't you want to talk to me? What's wrong? I'm afraid we were a little premature in our optimism. Spell it out, Joe. We continued contact with the ship throughout the night. It seems that only a little over half of the men survived. How many? 33. Any names? Not yet, but we believe your husband is one of them. Francis, I, uh... Would you mind telling the other women? I think they'll take it better, coming from you. You son of a bitch. Why was he avoiding you? They've died. No. Not all of them. <gasps> there was a miscommunication. We don't have any names yet. Why did they lie to us? They didn't, Marjorie. They assumed the best, which is what we still need to do. How many times have you done this? Several times in tests. Tests? Look, I need your support here, Cyrus. How many trips are you going to take? Four if we want to beat the weather. Who's taking her down? McDonald. He's done it once or twice. In tests? In tests. Well, oh, she's your dive bell, sweet. I want you to take her on her maiden voyage. You mean I'm not too old? Of course you are. Please. 
Submarine in sight. Seal complete. Permission to come on board, Captain. Permission granted, sir. Everybody doing down here? We've got 33 survivors. I got one man injured right here. I told you they wouldn't bring us no blondes. <laughs> So listen up. I'm taking seven men this trip. And I want all you guys to get ready because we're going to get you all off of here. You understand? Yes, <laughs> all of you. So, Ali, that's the next trip. It'll be eight men and then two trips of nine, OK? Yes, sir. Any questions? Yeah. What took you so long? <laughs> Traffic. <laughs> I made a list of survivors for you. Thank you, Ali. Listen, Polly, I know how hard it's going to be for you off top, but in my opinion, you deserve a medal. Thank you, sir. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Blown submarine hatch closed. We're coming up. You know, this 
one necessity I forgot to bring, a ukulele. But you can sing if you feel like it. <laughs> So, they're just hauling us up like a fish, sir? No, sir, they were making ourselves lighter and floating up like a balloon. There's a tether line up there to make sure we don't go astray, but the work's being done by a downhaul cable below. It's wheeling itself in and out on that big motor below your feet. Congratulations, Commander. One down, three trips to go. Not for me, Cyrus. You're not going down again? Why should I? I got the best team in the world. Jim, it's your turn. Thank you, sir. Talk to me all the way down. Mr. Sharp, if you will. Francis. Ladies, this is a list of the 33 survivors. Blanchard, Bland, <laughs> Booth, Bolton, Bryson, yes. Campbell, Coyne, Cravens, oh, Doyle, Elvina, Fitzpatrick, Galvin, Isaacs, Jacobs, Cuny, Maness, McLeese, De Medeiros, Murphy, Naquin, Nichols, O'Hara, Persico, Pierce, Powell Carlton, Powell Charles, Preble, Preen, Robertson, Smith, Washburn, Juhas. That was 32. You only read 32. There is no <laughs> final word about the crewman unaccounted for. What does that mean? The Navy sends its support and sympathy to you all. <laughs> My Lawrence is not dead. He's too ornery to die. Last trip, can you handle it? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, let's go. Just a shot.
sir. You first, my brother. We're off the boat. You see what happened? The air motor's conked out. Increase buoyancy and try riding the brake. Nothing, sir. The downhole cable's jammed in the rear below. All right, Jim. I want you to flood your main ballast and go back down to the squalus. Yes, sir. Sabitsky, how are you feeling? Just fine, sir. You want to take another trip? I'd like that, sir. Go get ready. Yes, sir. Jim? Ski's coming now. Stand by. Get down to the bottom and cut the downhaul cable below the diving bell. You understand? The tether cable won't bear the weight, sir! Just do it, Ski. Yes, sir.
Okay, Jim. When you get the word, I want you to blow ballast for as long as I say. You understand? Yes, sir. Cyrus, you're on the phone. Follow my orders. Blow ballast for 15 seconds. Tell him. Blow ballast for 15 seconds. Roger. No buoyancy. Again. Again. Still no buoyancy. Again. Blow ballast again. Again. Coming up. Good. Bring it up. Nice and easy. Keep it coming. Hit nice and easy. Nice and easy. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up, sir. Stop. Stop. Hold everything. I need line. Okay, I've secured the line. I need all hands to haul her up now. Now! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Get him to where we can open the hatch! Heave! Thank you.
Very good. Congratulations, sweet. I don't know how the Navy can thank you. No, well, 33 men thank me, and that's enough. Can I buy you a drink? No. No, thank you, Cyrus. I've got a boat to bring up. I think they can wait a few days. You tell that to them. I should have brought Sherma Reef myself. It's not for Sherm. It's for all of them. I just... Uh, I... I promised him I wouldn't lose it. 